A fundamental difference when comparing Hadoop with traditional SQL that we're used to is schema on write versus schema on read. Schema on write should be pretty familiar to us if we've ever used SQL, used SQL Server, or any other SQL database. Our first step in loading data is we create a table. We create the schema for it. Maybe this great table statement that creates a customer table. Once the table exists, then we can add data to it. In this case, we're going to bulk load data from a text file. We know the structure of the text file. It has the same structure as the table we created, and we can just load it in with a statement, maybe similar to this one. And then once that data is loaded in, we can query the data with a select statement, select key name from customers, etc. And that's schema on write. But here's the important point. In SQL, you can't really add data to your table until you create the table. And you can't create the table until you understand the schema of the data that's going to be in that table. And there's an implication to this is that if the data changes, maybe that text file of customers that we're receiving changes, somebody you know adds some fields or change some data types, what do we need to do? Normally, we're going to have to drop and reload that data, which is fine if it's a small set of data. It's fine if there aren't foreign keys. But if there are foreign keys and maybe we have 500 terabytes of customer data, that could be a real problem. We could be talking days rather than minutes to make this change. Hadoop and other big data technologies generally use schema on read. And what is that? Well, schema on read would follow a different sequence for the previous slide that we did. First, it would load the data. And this is an HDFS command to load data into the equivalent of a customer table within Hadoop. So we say HDFS, DFS, copy from local, and so on. And what that's going to do is reach out and find all of the text files in this temp folder that begin with cust file and end with text and pull them into the HDFS file system. And in the process, it's going to distribute them and do a lot of things that we'll talk about in a future lesson. And then we would immediately go to querying the data. And this is a, a command that we might use to query a customer table like this one. Now, the significance of this is we never really created a schema at all. In Hadoop, the data structure is interpreted as the data is read. In this case, is a Python script. The data schema is whatever the mapper decides it is. So as we load data, we don't have to be as concerned about what its layout is, what its structure is, or even if it will change in the future. We can adjust for that within the mapper script. So if we're analyzing data and trying to find insights and we discover a different way of interpreting the data, we can just change the script. We don't have to reload the whole data warehouse.